Next question is from 713 Clown. If I were to dedicate a workout to only the essential five, squat, deads, rows, bench, and overhead press, what order would you do them in? Oh, for, yeah. for sure squat, right? Then, yeah. Then dead, and then probably... Uh, row, bench, row. and overhead press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it... You know what's funny? This, yeah. just those exercises right there, you get a pretty good physique. Yeah. Oh, just, yeah. Just doing that, you know? I mean, it wouldn't be perfect because you're not getting... Rotation, it's a minimalist sort of concept, right? But you'd get a great workout. I would even take it a step further. Here's the deal: uh, at some point, uh, I don't think it's a great idea to always squat and deadlift in the same workout. I think that your your mm -hmm. that mo the risk of injury gets a little high. Um, definitely, if you deadlift before you squat, which I never think is a good idea. Right. But even when you deadlift after you squat, so with a routine like that, if you were super minimalist. And let's say you did uh, five sets of every exercise. And by the way, I trained a lot of clients like this often. Yeah. They'd come in and this is all we would do. Uh, I like to alternate squat and deadlift. So if you're coming in three days a week, one workout, you, we do squats. The next workout, we do deadlifts. Yeah, the next that, workout, we do squat and so on. That's well, exactly how I would train for a while. I went through a period of doing five by fives and, and that was, I would alternate my squat and my deadlifts on different days. And so I would like pretty much use it accordingly to that, but like keep those main lifts and then just keep it really simple. Uh, and I had, I had, you know, good results as, as, you know, uh, as a fact of that as well. Well, I, with that logic, you would do the same thing then with overhead press and bench too, because after you bench press, you're not you're not getting you're not able to lift the same you are on overhead press as you would do if you were completely fresh. Yeah, but the injury risk isn't there. Like yeah, but I, squatting and deadlifting the same workout. Well, your low the, back is uh, you know very. Vulnerable. I mean, yes and no. I mean, if you if you bench press and then you decide you're going to go super heavy on overhead press, I would I would argue the the risk for a low back injury is is just as high. Mm, I, it's, I, I you, it really all it is yeah. is that if you squat and dead in the same routine and you should do it in that order for mm. sure. You're 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 gonna be you're gonna be a lot weaker because you just squatted going to the dead. So you have to modify the weight. You have to do a weight that is significantly lower than what you could do as your max lift or 80, 90 percent of your lift. So that that's and the same thing goes true when you go row bench press after you do bench press. You're not going to do your max overhead press because you're definitely going to be fatigued from uh, bench press. Yeah, yeah, but you know, and I'm saying eventually, right? If you're a beginner or intermediate, you're probably okay. But uh, if you look at like powerlifting routines or strength athlete routines, they rarely deadlift and squat in the same workout. Typically, it's either well, a squat. yeah, because they're also chasing max lift. That's well, why. it's just they're, yeah. they're chasing after a max lift. If you're a person that's just training, this routine to me is completely fine three days a week. And as long as you modify the intensity of the weight, there is nothing. This is a great routine to run two, three times a week, every week. Well, this looks like uh, prephase and MAPS anabolic. Uh, MAPS anabolic prephase looks like this um, with maybe a couple of variations because you are working the entire body. You're kind of getting everything um, in there, and it, it's working every single muscle group, and it's very, very effective at – sending some good strength and, and muscle building signals. I mean, you definitely can do it. I would just say at some point when you get more advanced, you might be better off alternating those two, in, in my personal opinion. But if you do do them all, uh, you will squat first. So we'll go squat, deadlift, uh, row, bench, overhead press in that. Actually, yeah, this, you, yeah, you the order, in that order. Yeah, the order is perfect. You just you just got to know that when you go to overhead press and you go to deads, you're going to be fatigued from the previous exercise. Right. So you're going to have to just and do less load. And I don't know, dude. I yeah. I, I, I at least okay for me personally. This is just me, right? Uh, I am. I can squat and and get after it, and then go into deads like a lighter load and be very controlled, safe, and not feel like I could I'm jeopardizing my form. If I go heavy bench and then I go to do overhead press, I'm more likely to you hurt myself in my low back doing that. And now this has to do with I have an interesting. Ex, I have a bench to overhead. Yeah. Because uh, because I have an anterior pelvic tilt, so my I already have an issue with making sure that get the I, Instagram butt. Yeah, I got yeah. the Instagram butt yeah. going on. So, but I mean that's common. I mean, yeah. the, the anterior pelvic tilt is very common in, in most people. Now I have a little bit of an excessive one, so it's I have to constantly be re reminding myself to stay engaged, mm -hmm. keeping the core tight when I'm pressing good weight over my head. So yeah, I, I rarely I'll go dead to overhead press uh, because of just like the the strain of the lower back. I'll feel that like when I'm then pressing a load overhead so i don't usually stack those back to back ever yeah uh, but that's just me and my own preference right that's what i'm that's yeah I'm, but common wise right if you were look at uh, you know you just randomly picked a thousand people's workouts 
you often will see a bench press and some kind of an overhead press in a workout because typically people will pair, you know, chest and shoulders. Yeah, I do that. Rarely do you see squats and deadlifts in the same workout. Yeah, that's you fair. really do. You just don't see it very often, and I think it's because people well, know they're how very to demanding. Those are like the most demanding exercises. Yeah, but again, if you're beginner, intermediate, and you're smart, you could definitely do them all in the same workout. I just don't rec- when you're getting strong. You're starting to really push yourself. I think you get better results alternating those yeah. two. Yeah, well, that that's the key. As you get as you get more experienced and strong, and then you are going to have a tendency to want to push the weight more. This is where it gets risky mm-hmm. is to have them back to back like that because they are so demanding. If you just went and did four or five sets of heavy squats, and then you're going to go do deadlifts with that, then absolutely you're yeah. at risk. You know what's you know? funny, though? You do five sets of each of those, right? So five dead uh, squat, dead rows, bench, overhead press. That right there is better than 90% of the workouts that are on the internet. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm dead serious. Oh, absolutely. That simple, basic thing that we just said That's right now. That's the meat of it all. Like, if you want to get fit, you don't want to buy a program, you're like, whatever, I just want to do something basic that's going to work really well, and you want to do something that's better than 90% of the garbage that's out there, just mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. 